The table below shows the frequency distribution of weights in grams of pre-1964 quarters. So we have our weight, which is in uh, our classes, and we have our frequency. Now we want to use the frequency distribution to construct a histogram. And does the histogram appear to depict data that have a normal distribution Y or Y not? Well, first, let's go ahead and identify what is the lower class limit. Well, the lower class limit is 6.000. Okay, and the next lower class limit is 6.050. So we can determine what the class width is. So if we take 6.050 and subtract 6.000, then we get a class width of 0 0.05. Okay, so we can at least take a look at that. Now, before we use stack crunch, we can take a look at what our frequency looks like for the first class. Now for the first class goes from 6.000 to 6.049 has 2. So if we take a look at A, this goes all the way up to above 5. So that means we can rule out A. Now if we take a look at B and C, well, we're not sure necessarily if this represents 1 or if this represents 2. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next class. If we go to the next class, we can see that the next class has a frequency of 3. So this one is close to that one, which may be this one, because you would say this is 3. This one is a little closer to 5. Okay, then it jumps to 7. So you can see here that this third one is below 5. This one goes up to 7, possibly. And then the next two are 12. And then we have fours, so that's not the same. And then we have a one. So that should tell us that C is the, uh, the histogram, the frequency histogram. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what this would look like in StatCrunch. So if I open up this data in the StatCrunch, okay? Now I can't just create a histogram here because this gives me summary data. This isn't the list of every single data that we have. So in order for us to create a histogram, we would need each and every piece of data listed in a column for us to do that. In this case, we have a summary. So we don't have an option of being able to create a histogram without having the full data. But we can come over and then select bar plot. Now, remember, a bar plot is not the same as a histogram because a bar plot has the bars that are separated. They're not connected or not adjacent to. But we still can do that because bar plot gives us an opportunity to graph something with summary, whereas histogram doesn't. So we're going to go to summary, okay, and then we're going to select categories in. Well, the categories in represents the weight. So we're going to go ahead and weight in grams. And then the counts in are going to be the frequency. Okay, and again, we want a frequency distribution, all right? And so now we want um, order by, so we're going to say worksheet because we don't want ascending or descending, okay? And then it says values above the bar. So let's go ahead and do that. So therefore, you can see what our bar graph would look like. Now, if these bars would touch each other, then that would represent a histogram. But you can see here that that's going to represent a very close look to our C, going from 2 to 3, 7, 12, 12, 4, 4, and 1. So we're going to select Final Check, and there is our result. Now the question states, does the histogram appear to depict data that have a normal distribution? Now remember, for a normal distribution, the frequencies start low and then start increasing and then get to the, 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 the highest peak there and then back down again. Well, if we draw a bell curve around this, this looks like it could be approximately normal. So let's choose our options. The histogram appears to depict a normal distribution. So far, so good. The frequencies generally increase to a maximum and then decrease, and the histogram is roughly symmetric. Okay, well, let's see what the other choices have. The histogram does not appear to depict the normal distribution. We can cut out B. It says, Part C, the histogram appears to depict a normal distribution. The frequencies generally decrease to a minimum and then increase. 
Well, that's not true because the frequencies start low. Okay, and then part D, it says the histogram does not appear to be a normal distribution. Well, that's not true because it looks like a bell curve. So it looks like our best choice is going to be A. So therefore, that is our answer.